Happy Friday. Bill Lindemann with your news from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery on Crystal 93. A new shiny road sign on I-70 just above Silverthorne is missing something. It's the E in Silverthorne. But is it really a mistake? Crystal correspondent Matt Renew of Nine News has got this story from town manager Ryan Highland. Historically, it actually might not be inaccurate because Silverthorne is named after Judge Marshall Silverthorne, a guy that was roaming around these parts back in the 1800s. And Judge Marshall Silverthorne did not spell Silverthorne with an E. He left the E off, and he had a, a hotel that he opened called the Hotel Silverthorne. It did not have an E on it. And the E was added later by his family because they thought that it added flair and was a little more fancy. But if you're naming the city, the town, after Judge Marshall Silverthorne, then historically, that sign out there that everyone thinks is misspelled is actually quite accurate. Matt says there are no immediate plans to revise or replace that sign. See it for yourself on the Crystal 93 Facebook page or just take the interstate from Frisco to Silverthorne. Matt also paid a visit this week to the Eisenhower Tunnel, where CDOT is spending tens of millions on work you might never notice. It's nothing really sexy as far as like a, a third lane or a new bore in the tunnel or anything like that, but it will have impact with drivers. Over the next few years, the CDOT's spending about $53 million through 2024 to do a number of projects. Crews are already working on wall grout inside of the tunnels and preparing for updated drainage and plumbing. Now we've seen maybe an increase in some emergency closures in the tunnel where they've got to shut it down and work on stuff because things are falling apart. And so by doing this work, see that says, they'll be able to reduce those emergency closures and then keep traffic flowing a little better. It's all sprucing up for the Eisenhower Tunnel's 50th birthday next March, right around the same time as Matt's birthday. And as a close to 50-year-old structure myself, I know it's all about the maintenance. you got to stay up on the maintenance. In other road news, hundreds of road cyclists are in town tomorrow for the triple bypass. US 6 at Loveland Pass will be closed from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow. Hazmat will be staging at the tunnel. Summit Sheriff is renewing the hunt for a suspected bank robber with a rap sheet years long. James Power is accused of identity theft and theft up to $20,000, both in Breckenridge. He is wanted on other local charges dating back to 2018 and facing charges in Montrose County from 2019. A local woman was arrested last week on domestic abuse and menacing charges and quickly added police assault for allegedly fighting with detentions deputies at Summit County Jail. A woman was found dead at a trailhead near Nederland this Wednesday. Boulder County Sheriff reports the body was inside of a car owned by a woman reported missing in Longmont last week. They have not confirmed if she is the same person. A foot was found floating in a hot pool at Yellowstone National Park this week. Park officials believe it could be tied to a disappearance from July 31st. They do not suspect foul play. The foot was in a shoe at Abyss Pool, one of the deepest in the park, at 50 feet, with a temperature of 140 degrees. Local fire danger remains low today, with no fire restrictions here in Summit. In sports, the Rockies open a home series with the Giants today at 640. Tomorrow, the Broncos play the Bills at 11 for Game 2 of the preseason. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos at their new location on Airport Road, Corey Wallace of Alberta, Canada won Stage 5 at the Breck Epic today, nosing past Boulder's Lachlan Morton by just three seconds. But it was not enough to dethrone Morton, who takes home the win after five days of racing. Breck's Lassie Konechny finishes second overall. Winning the women's race was Katarina Nash of California. Phil Lindemann with your news from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery on Crystal 93.